Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it's uh, December 5th of 2020, and it's 2.30 p.m. Sun is shining here in Dallas, Fort Worth, but I think it's still cold outside. Alexa, what's the temperature? Right now, it's 61 degrees Fahrenheit. Tonight, expect a low of 40 degrees. 61 with the sun shining like it is, is not bad. Uh, I wanted to thank everyone. I don't know who everyone is. Uh, well, first let me show you. You know that Amazon has a program that people can sign up for. If you have a website or if you have a YouTube uh, site or something like that, you can sign up for the Amazon Associates program. I'm not sure, I don't think it's difficult. I'm not sure exactly what the requirements are. I, uh, let's see. Okay, let's, let's do this. I signed up for it, uh, let me go down slowly this because you might want to look at this. This is the money that I have made from starting in uh, 2009 in February. And that month I made a dollar and 32 cents. <laughs> now here you can see September 2nd. I made uh, $23 for the month. And here in 2011, I'm up to $24.34. But look at all these months. Uh, look at all these months. Okay, here's another. Uh, in March of 2014, I made $34. And going up, going up, we're up to, okay, 20, September of 2017, I made $39.67, I'm going to sneeze, <coughs> ah. here's another mo a month where I made, oh, wait a minute, uh, here is February of 2018. I made $79 for the month from Amazon. That means, now here's a month where I, and it's February of 2020, I made $40. Now, uh, last month, I made $110 in commissions from Amazon and this at the end of this month December I'm going to make sixty six dollars so two months in a row really almost uh, three months in a row made a little bit of money from that more than I've made from YouTube and I've been doing YouTube since 2005 <laughs> uh, so I've been asking you in the past to uh, when you can uh, Click on, if there's some links below, you know, for products, and you're going to be buying that product anyway, you know, click on the link. Uh, but also what I've been asking you to do is, uh, if you're going to buy something from Amazon, you know, I may, I probably won't have the link below. So just, you, one thing you can make it easy, there, there's links below to like my Amazon store or I forget exactly what it says all my videos there will be a link below but what you can also do is just type in jameshoward.me this is a secure link by the way you can see the S there HTTPS it's a secure link and you go here now, you don't have to click on any unless you want to look around at them, you know, things that I've picked or been interested in or whatever, but um, you're here at Amazon, and then you, as long as you stay here without logging out, 
you can go purchase anything that you came there that, that you want to purchase from Amazon and I should get a commission uh, from that. The commission isn't very much, it doesn't cost you anything, so please if you can uh, do that. It'd be nice to, uh, I mean it seems to me pretty obvious I'm not going to make a bunch of money from uh, you know YouTube. You, you do have to have, people think I've seen people making YouTube videos, you know, they'll be making a, they'll see something, you know, a, a fire, an accident, you'll hear somebody, are you getting this? Yeah. Somebody will say, yeah, I, I, I should make a lot of money with this or something to that effect. No, you have to have a large, large number of people going to your site. I have almost 3,000 subscribers. <laughs> I'm not making any money from YouTube. I spend more each month, you know, for, uh, various things or things that not even counting the things that I you know purchase uh, you know cameras and all types of uh, all types of things and little things that really you know really add up and uh, so if you can please uh, use the link because that would be nice be nice to get like a hundred dollars a month from every month from you know Amazon uh, or more. That'd be nice. So um, here's something that I can look at. Okay, there's. This may be one of the people, I don't know who this person is, but to somebody, uh, appears to be in the business of installing voice over IP systems for businesses, and uh, they're buying their products that they install, or what, I'm guessing, uh, that they're uh, buying them, and I'm getting uh, the credit for it. Well, they get the credit for installing and all that type of stuff, but they're purchasing, and I do appreciate that, whoever that is. Um, let's see here. I'm going to close this. Um, going to go here. And here is also uh, something that this... You can actually see five of them, five of them uh, purchased, and three of them. These, these are headsets, I think. Uh, now, these are apparently, let's see. No, somebody purchased flash drives. Now, I don't know who does. By the way, I'm going to purchase uh, one of these. I like the looks of it, except I'm going to... I want to get one of the 256 gigabytes, $25. Uh, yeah, there's only a dollar difference between these. 128 gigabytes I could probably even uh, get by with, but I'm going to gonna have some extra money. I'm going to purchase 256 gigabytes. Wow. Wow. Um, Let's see what else has been purchased. Somebody purchased, uh, is this a kettle? Oh, okay. A grill. Whoever you were, thank you very much for using my link. Um, therapy plant. Oh, okay. I guess it's uh, lotion for okay uh, whoever you purchased that thank you very much again I want to uh, reiterate I have no idea of uh, who you are or where you are or anything else uh, warthog Full body harness. Oh, 
Okay. You know, I happen to know who this is. Somebody was uh, talking. I, I just happen to know who this is. Somebody was uh, exchanging some email with me and uh, told me about this. Uh, that's interesting because I don't, if you know. I guess I could say uh, this uh, gentleman, his wife broke her foot and he got this, he ordered this in order to try to help her upstairs and I don't think she went for the thing but the idea was that he could take part of her weight and uh, lift and get her up some stairs and actually I uh, he told me what she did, you know, the first time that she came home from the hospital or whatever, she had to sit down and push herself up the stairs, and it was really, really difficult. And then uh, he, uh, she had to have, uh, about a month later, the uh, cast removed, and they took the stitches out, which he said was really painful. And then they put a new cast on, and she's going to have that cat cast on for a month, and then they're going to take that off and put a new cast on. But uh, the second time when she came home, instead of sitting down on the stairs and trying to push herself up that way, she turned around and was able to crawl up forward and went easier. Still difficult, but went easier. So this is interesting. Uh, I think that uh, some firefighters or paramedics or somebody use something like this, I think, for a certain type of, I don't know, extractions or something. Um, a beanie hat, a waterproof box springs, uh, ultra-white in toothbrush, a 34 inch ultra wide monitor. Is that what I purchased? Can you get? I think it is. No, it doesn't show that I purchased it or it would at the top. 34 inch ultra wide monitor. I think that's what I purchased. I'm surprised that you can get uh, credit for something you purchase yourself. Uh, 4K HDM splitter, uh, bed bug proof mattress cover, barbecue es uh, essential kits, a fire HD uh, tablet, otter box computer outer box I'm not sure what this is oh it's a case for a Motorola G I have a Motorola G huh. hmm. maybe I'm generating all the sales not all of them, but uh, a tablet uh, motor unlocked. Motorola G stylus unlocked. That was an item that I uh, wanted to purchase, but I, I purchased this other. I think this is the G. No. Okay, this is the Motorola G Power. I think. This is the stylus. I actually wanted the stylus. And I watched several reviews on it. And then I watched somebody else, one person, that did a review on it. And they had some problems with uh, some things with it that the 
stylus didn't, you know, do as well as it should. I mean, of course, it wasn't, uh, you know, uh, Apple device or something, but maybe decide that I'm glad, maybe, that I was glad that maybe I didn't get the stylus one. And I probably never would have uh, used it. Oops. Got my camera in the way of the mouse. I'm using this uh, G602 wireless, and I've switched several times back to my other. I'm going to go back to the wired one. But there's something, I don't know what it is. There is something about holding this that, I don't know, I can't put exactly, I'm not good at uh, symptoms or uh, whatever. There's just something about it that the other one that is has is wired, and, and it's a... Uh, Logitech mouse. There's something about it that this thing just doesn't feel comfortable in the hand. I guess I have, unlike Trump, I have small hands, which I, I think I mentioned before. I did not know that. There again, I'm not very good at uh, knowing myself or something. I spent uh, 30 years working hospital security. I was armed all of that time. Every year I had to shoot to qualify. I always qualified. I didn't, I mean, I didn't shoot fantastically. I mean, you have to shoot, you know, I shot, I think, in the 80s or something. 75 was qualifying. And uh, I always had some nice grips on my different. In the beginning, for years and years, it was revolver. I had a, out, a Smith and Wesson outdoorsman, 38 on a 44 frame. I loved that. I wish I'd have kept it. I sold it. And uh, then, of course, we went to autos. Well, then when I was uh, I retired in 2000, but then I kept working. I did the 2000 census, and then I. Worked in Orlando, Florida, and then I worked in, uh, and came back to Texas, worked security at the, uh, wasn't armed, however, at the uh, control tower in Love Field and then uh, Addison Field. But um, then went to Miami, and I worked. Uh, uh, a number of different jobs. One was uh, mall security. But uh, then I worked at uh, oh, computer store pricing thing. Anyway, they came in and they did, uh, they brought in uh, what they do for places, a company that specializes in doing inventory. And they came in, and I think, I think all of them, maybe there was a, I think all the ones that came in were women, uh, Hispanic and black women seemed, I, I think, mainly. And our job was to make sure that they scanned everything. And, you know, they had scanners or whatever. Anyway, the women were around there, and I was, you know, there and what, with this one group to make sure everybody scanned, didn't, you know, they scanned the inventory. And then the women were joking, uh, thinking, and I was like, I was like the second oldest person that worked. Everybody that worked, CompUSA was the name of it, CompUSA. And uh, the women were joking, you know, with I'm right there, and they, of course they know they're, you know, and they're uh, talking about, oh, you have big hands. I never paid any, you know. But I, when they were doing that, then I knew, okay, you know, <laughs> apparently I don't have big hands. And they were, you know, doing this between himself and they thought, well, this old man, he doesn't, uh, he doesn't know the thing about, uh, you know, small hands, small penis, that type of stuff. And uh, so then I wondered, you know, but anyway, then I ended up here in Texas and I needed to order some... Uh, gloves and I ordered from Amazon 
and uh, the gloves didn't fit. And uh, also then I ordered some boxes of, uh, it's funny all the time I worked hospital security, I had to uh, from time to time put on, you know, a mask, this is before the virus, and put on, you know, gloves, uh, depending on the situation. In fact, uh, I carried some gloves in a pouch on my belt in case I was out in the parking lot or wherever I would be and something would come up and I can put the gloves on. And uh, that should have been a tick off. A pick, you know, I should have. Uh, and anyway, anyway, I ordered some gloves and the gloves didn't fit. And I thought, what the heck? And so then I think there was, I think you could somehow online, I believe, at Amazon, uh, maybe someplace else, I found out that I have, now that I, now that I look at them, yeah, I have small hands. So all that time, 30 plus years, longer than 30 years that I was armed, and uh, I think I'd have shot a lot better if I'd have had the right size grips. It seems like too, when, uh, of course, when we went to the police range and shot every year, you go and the, you know, you shoot uh, those instructors. They didn't really help you. You know, you went and you were expected to shoot and to qualify. They weren't there to teach you, you know, uh, whatever. But then we had for our department, uh, our, the hospital that I worked for, we ended up taking over, well, not me, I didn't take them over, but ended up taking over like 11 hospitals and such. So we had, actually it was one of the hospitals we took over. There was a a guy who was a security officer there who was big into guns and had been, he'd gone on his own, I think, to uh, different places in the United States and taken courses that qualify him as a range officer and uh, and instructor or whatever and things. And so he really, but uh, he didn't, you know, he never, it's a wonder that somebody didn't, I wonder how I would have shot with the proper size grip instead of trying to put that little tiny hand around uh, those big old masculine, you know, grips that I had. So, uh, Bunch of people have been buying Motorola G's. So some people have listened to me about, uh, I guess, and clicked on it. So anyway, um, I think that's, let's see what the news is, but I'm not gonna talk about the news. We'll just look at it. A northeasterner could turn into a bomb cyclone. Hawaii is offering free round trip trips to remote workers who want to live there temporarily. So if you are an electrician or a carpenter or something. I guess they must need, uh, I'm guessing, I don't know. Seemed like that'd be a good opportunity, I don't know. Twenty-three little things you can buy on Amazon that make a big difference. What the heck is this? Let's see. Oops. There you go. Be sure and use the link below that you'll see, uh, and then go Let's see. Rubber version of the tube shalom. 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 Sh 
Shri Ram. It's a catches hair and prevents clogging. Huh. That this might be something we can use. Uh, I have a restroom here. I mean, and there's we have two two bedrooms, two restrooms here, and well, my uh, bathtub drain does not get stopped up. I don't know. Can you see the top of my head from? I'm not sure. But the other one gets stopped up with hair all the time. I wonder. I'm going to put this on my uh, wish list. Oops. Uh, let's see, add to the list, then I'll be able to find it. My grown son would have to uh, install this thing. I the, that other bathroom, leaning down, I can't. My arthritis is so bad. Oh, man, I'll tell you. What do you do to keep from getting arthritis? I mean, I, you know, I don't. I never drank, never smoked. Probably. But I did do the DNA uh, type thing, that, and I saw in there that uh, Irish, Scottish. Ancestry um, gives you a greatly increased chance to uh, have arthritis. But my uh, mother's mother, my grandmother on my mother's side, she had arthritis really bad. You know, her hands were frozen, like in this, you know, this type of situation. And my mother had osteoporosis, you know, where the uh, back and then it kind of bent over. But my uh, mother and father both were alcoholics, eh, not abusive alcohol, or, you know, not. Uh, but um, I also read someplace sometime that alcohol tends to take, I'm not sure if this is correct, I am not a doctor. I also read someplace that alcohol takes calcium out of your body and you need calcium for strong bones and whatever, so anyway, just a uh, little information from Dr. Howard. Um, I'll probably get this. Um, what am I doing? Do I know have any idea? Oh, looking at this thing here. Uh, abrasive remover. Ceramic blade safety cutter. Microwave, tall glass plate cover, Rambler mug. I have one of those. Well, not a mug. I have. I, that's got a handle on it for like coffee or whatever. I have. Uh, you see me with the tall stainless steel one, but then I have one that you unscrew the top and a uh, can will go into it. And it really, you know, it's insulated, and it's a Yeti, so. Uh, okay, I, I, I wonder, uh, a vitamin C filter shower head, uh, come on, come on. I, I guess there's a cartridge or something goes in, and I, water goes on that, and I, you know. Six foot uh, lightning cable. Ice roller. Satin pellet cases. I have 
two pillows on my bed, and one of them is very slick. And I don't, you know, when I sleep, I have a, you know, and I put, I want to put my hand underneath the pillow or whatever, and I don't like, I should just switch them. <laughs> the way I've got them, I probably would. I don't like it. And, uh, so. The laundry bag is that if you take a, your laundry to a, what the heck is this? Okay, I know, I don't know anything about it. I've never had a, what is, what's the place people like to drink coffee? I've never been in there, one of their places. And I don't know what a latte is. I mean, I know that you go into those kind of places and they make you a latte or something, but. Okay, magnetic dry erase whiteboard sheet for kitchen for refrigerator. I have two whiteboards in here, big ones, one over there, and one you may be able to see in the corner here that I, that are magnetic also, so I can stick things on there with a magnet, but I also write on them. And this might be a good idea, uh, except my ex-wife and my, well, my ex-wife and grown son we all share this apartment and we share the expenses. Uh, she's in a wheelchair. I don't think she'd be able to see. And if I put it lower, <laughs> it would hurt my, uh, so we're a step stool. Oh, cat bed. We have a cat, but Dee uh, Dee is, I think Dee Dee's, you know, really old now. And she's not, she's not doing well. My ex-wife, is when something, you know, the ex-wife ex -wife keeps saying, oh, I think Dee Dee's better. I think she's, you know, no. Nah. I, I think she's old like me. So, this might be something. Grocery dispenser bag. Uh, that wouldn't, we have that. Uh, no, I actually, ours is, there aren't the dividers, there, I don't think. Or are there, I don't even know. But we just throw it in there. Oh, okay, here we go. Oh, I see, that's your watch that go, I guess, that goes around... For an Apple Watch, $9.99. says, I love the nightstand mode on the Apple Watch, and even with sleep tracking coming this fall, I still love a good stand for it. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Okay, enough of that. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please, please. Uh, home button, home button. Uh, please click on links. Use my links if you can. Doesn't cost you anything. And uh, $100 a month or $60 a month will uh, help me out a lot. So thank you very much. Looking for the F10 key.